Hi, it's Jan from Jan Does Reviews, and I'm going to do my um, month end. Did I actually use it? Um, I even have some numbers. I got all pseudo scientific on you. So here we go. First up, um, my Glitz Glam Box. Um, it had a total value of $48.99. Now, I received lashes, glitter, eye brush set, and a lipstick. And I thought they really hit it with the Halloween theme. Um, I actually did use the glitter on Halloween. Um, if you haven't seen my look, it's over on Instagram. Um, I did a galaxy-inspired half-face um, that I had painted on. And um, so I, I actually did end up using that. I didn't think I would necessarily, but, you know, Halloween was there, so why not? Um, I have used all but one of these brushes. Um, there is a, um, a very fine-tipped brush here that I still haven't used. I don't typically use those very often, um, but I have used every single one of these. They're all in desperate need of a washing. <laughs> And I really like them. Um, they're they're good quality so far. Um, put those out of the way. Um, no complaints. I have not used the lashes, other than um, I don't remember. Did I use them in the initial try on? I may have, but they are pretty. And then um, the lipstick. I thought I would use it more, but I found this month I just really didn't wear a lot of lipstick. It just, it comes and goes, but it's a beautiful shade, and I do anticipate that I will use it. So, you know, awesome. What I estimated <clears throat> is, as my personal value out of the $48.99 that these all would cost if I had purchased them on my own, um... The brushes and the lipstick is what I thought I would probably use the most, and I probably will going forward, and um, that's a total of $30. So, um, for a $15 bag, it's not too bad. Um, and I also did, I checked the website um, when my subscription renewed, and it is, it's $15 plus $2.99 shipping. There is no sales tax. So, sales tax is included in your subscription. Just wanted to throw that out there since I knew I kept messing up on the prices on the bag. Okay. <clears throat> My Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Um, I got the Violet Voss Creme Brulee Palette. The um, Lovecraft Beauty. Just, sorry. Brain Fog, Warm Rituals Palette, the Tarte Double Duty Beauty uh, Setting Powder, Dr. Lips Three Tinted Lip Tints, and um, Thrive Cosmetics Pencil, and I forget the name of this, um, Aurora. They're brilliant eye brighteners, what they call it, but it's it's an eyeshadow crayon, and I have not used this one time since I got it. I did pick this. Um, I like eye crayons. I just, yeah, I don't use them very often. Um, I also picked the Creme Brulee palette, and I have used this one other time. Um, I usually don't wear a lot of makeup through the week. If I do, it's usually like um, some bronzer and mascara, and that's about it. Um, and depending on my mood, you know, I might throw on some kind of a tinted balm. Um, and this month, you know, I, I do put on makeup and try to look my best when I go out for doctor's appointments and such. But since I was having an eye surgery, I figured there was no point in putting eye makeup on, which went great, by the way. So going forward, hopefully my uh, eyes will actually match when I do makeup, <laughs> especially the eyeliner. So um, I do like it, and 
Although it is extremely warm toned, there are some really pretty neutral colors in there. So I will get use out of it. Um, I have not used the Warm Ritual palette once since the initial try on. Um, and it is much cooler toned. I just, I forget about it. And again, I didn't wear a lot of um, makeup this month. But that green is just gorgeous right there. It's just beautiful. It's um, a duochrome, so in one light it looks like green, and then you turn your head slightly and it looks completely gold. It's just stunning. I really like it, in case you didn't notice that. Um, setting the stuff to the side, so make sure I've mentioned everything. Um, the Double Duty Beauty, it's a good product. Um, but the Physician's Formula uh, Covertox 10 Anti-Wrinkle Powder, it's a big long name, uh, is still my favorite and I've got like this much left in around the rim of the container. So when I use it up, I will probably use this next. So I'm just, I'm trying to finish it. So that's the only reason I haven't grabbed this one. I like it just as well. It doesn't um, emphasize texture or and it doesn't seem the physician's formula seems moisturizing whereas this one doesn't but again it doesn't emphasize texture so that's that's my big thing um, the dr. lip lip tints I have one on today this one the um, I think this is red radish no this is elderberry sorry um, yeah I like them um, but I haven't worn a lot of lip stuff this month. Um, these colors are also pretty, but this one, with the elderberry, is my favorite. Um, next up would be the um, sweet potato, the kind of um, dusty rose looking color. And my least favorite is the red radish. It's um, a hint more coral than I like, I guess I, I would say. Um, okay, so out of all that, uh, the actual glam bag <laughs> um, <clears throat> came to a total of $134 if I had bought each item on my own. Um, I calculated that I had a personal value for the powder, the lip tints, and the Violet Voss palette. Uh, is $75 and I guess I would have to flip that a little bit because I didn't use the Violet Voss as much as I thought I would uh, and I like the um, Lovecraft Beauty one a little more than I thought I would so um, if I flipped that that would be a difference of let's see 12 17 dollars so that would make my value um, 92 dollars so not bad um, this is a 25 dollar a month subscription you do pay your local sales tax and shipping is included so here in Kentucky it comes to 2650 for me um, let's go on to boxycharm it is the same um, five full-size products just like in the Ipsy bag, $25 a month, shipping's included, local sales tax, so it comes to a total of $26.50 for the box. I wasn't as happy with this one. There wasn't a whole lot in it that I loved. Um, well, I think the color story of this Ciate London New England Editor's Palette that I received, I think it's really pretty. The colors are beautiful. But there's hardly any pigment to them. It takes a lot to be, build them up. The shimmers work just fine, but the mattes are just too much trouble. So I tried it again today. It's just a no. Just not not a win. Um, let's see the Frank Body um, Glow Mask. Yeah. Still haven't used it. Don't expect to use it. I don't like masks that you have to wash off. I prefer the ones that you put on and leave to soak in overnight. 
Um, also like sheet masks, you know, that you just um, massage in the serums and stuff that's in the sheet mask afterwards. Those are fine. I'm just, I'm weird about stuff having to be washed off my face. It just really bothers me. Uh, the dose of colors meet your what? Meet your hue. I'm sorry. Meet your hue concealer um, in light medium. I think I've already said it's a little dark. Um, I mixed it with uh, Wet n Wild Photo Focus today, and that seemed to work. Um, it also the Wet n Wild Photo Focus is uh, not as dry a formula. And this one is, so that mix kind of, um, it seemed to help. I don't think my texture is terribly emphasized. I mean, it's there. It's always going to be there. I've got wrinkly eyes. That's just the way it is. You know, nothing's going to make that go away beyond plastic surgery, and I'm not going to do that. So I think we've had that discussion before. Um, the lip liners I have used a couple of times. Um, I used the lip liner on Halloween, the red one. The So Gorgeous, and then the Be Peachy um, I've actually used today underneath the Elderberry Lip Tint from Dr. Lip. I do like them. Um, they don't set down completely like my ColourPop cream liners do. I wish they did, but it's still they're still really good. The colors are really good. They're not um, too warm. So they work out really well. I like that. Um, and last, the brush set from Lexi. Um, it's five brushes. I'm missing one. This little spoolie brush. Where is it? There it is. Uh, there it is. Um, I've used every single one of these. I really like them. I love Lexi brushes. I'll never turn down a Lexi brush. Lexi, if you watch this. I love your company. You and Complex Culture, my absolute favorites. Even Over Sigma and um, Real Techniques, Morphe. Yeah. Absolutely want Complex Culture and Lexi. Y'all are the bomb. So, I'm um, very happy with those. And that brings us to my personal value. Okay, so the box value, if I'd purchased all these products on my own, would be $133.95. I figured I have a personal value of $48 in um, the brush set and the lip liner duo. Um, and I was right. I didn't use the palette much. I'm not going to use that mask. And um, the concealer... You know, I have to add it with another concealer to make it work, but I can make it work, which is a good thing to know. So, going forward, yeah, I might use it once my um, my Revlon Photo Ready stick is um, finished up because it's the color's already perfect on it, and it's um, a moisturizing, um, balmy kind of stick formula. So I don't have to mix it with anything, but once I run out of that, I probably will use up that dose of colors. So mm, the, it could be adjusted for that, which is an additional $24, which would make my um, value 72, is that right? Yes, $72 total. So, you know, $25 bag. And then that brings us to my last glossy box. Um, I liked it, but mm, I'm not going to miss the bag at all. Um, I still haven't used the sheet mask from Ona New York, but I'm pretty sure I will. I do like sheet masks. I don't do them very often. Um, I really... I'm kind of hit or miss with my skincare routine, if I'm being honest. Some months I do great, and then other months I'm really horrible. This month's been really horrible. I haven't done anything. Most days that I have worn makeup, I forget to wash it off before I fall asleep. Yes, I know that's really bad for your skin, but, you know, growing up I never washed my makeup off. Um, so... 
the wrinkles that I have are probably because of that. Oh well, that coat break, sorry. Okay, next up is the Earth Harbors Aurora. Um, Superfood Luminous Ampule. And while it's beautiful, I haven't used it beyond um, the initial try to see if I liked the texture of it. Um, I'm still working through some others that are I have open. But, excuse me, <clears throat> I anticipate using it. Um, the Generation Clay Purple Clay Mask have not used. Um, I did have a lovely subscriber make a, a very helpful comment about um, I could probably use it on my hands. And I thought that was a really great idea. So I may try that going forward. Um, we're just now starting to get into the cooler weather. We had a couple of warm days where we hit the, the mid to high 70s, and one day we actually hit 80. Woo but uh, I don't think they're predicting any more of those days in the near future. It's going to be low 70s and high 60s for our highs. So uh, my hands will get dry now that we've turned our gas heat on. Um, my skin will become much drier, and I think I might <clears throat> actually want to try this out on my hands and use it that way. So, thank you, V. Honey, Lisbeth. All right, and what else have I not mentioned? Um, oh, the Ciate London Extraordinary um, Translucent Powder. Um, I have a full size of this. Uh, my daughter is using it, and you know I've got the Tarte powder. I've got. Um, the physician's formula that I'm using. Uh, oh, and I have a Maybelline Fit Me also. But yeah, I've got quite a few open powders. So I'm saving this one. Um, and if we ever get to travel again, you know, this would be handy for that rather than taking one of my um, really big powders and running the risk of it coming open and shattering or, you know, making a mess basically. And then, um, Last but not least is the KVD Vegan Beauty um, Studded Kiss Cream Lipstick in Lovecraft. And I have not used this since the initial try-on. It's really pretty. I like the shade. Um, but I just haven't used a lot of lip products this, this month. So there's that. Um, this total, This box totaled up to... $89.42 if I had purchased each of these on my own. My personal value is calculated at um, $73.98 and that is without the clay mask. And since I now have a purpose for this, I probably will use it. So this would probably be the best box if we're going at a dollar value amount since I would use all items that I received. Um, so, even though it is my last and I won't be missing it because it's extremely skincare heavy, um, it will take me a while to get to the point where I can use all these products since I already have so much skincare from earlier boxes that I want to use before they expire. So, um, it'll take me a little while before I get to this one. I do, whenever I receive them, um, I try to, if they come, you know, packaged with a box, I'll write on the box the, the month and the year that I received it. That way, when I run, have used up whatever is currently on my vanity, uh, and I'm searching through my stash of um, skincare and cosmetics, I can find the one um, that's the oldest that needs to be used first. So, um, just... Hopefully a handy tip for you there if, if you're like me and you have subscription boxes and a lot of stuff starting to accumulate. Um, I will have a book review on Friday. haven't decided which book. I've read um, a few of them. And um, this is what the second 
So uh, I did get my Kindle First selections, but I haven't made a choice yet on what I'm going to get. So you never know. Like that, may, the, the November choice may end up being my Friday book review. Um, I think I said earlier my surgery went well. Um, everything's great. I've this month I'm only getting, I think. Unless I change my mind, uh, I'm only getting the three boxes that I, that I have been doing previously: the Glitz Glam box, uh, my Ipsy Bag Plus, and Boxy Charm. Uh, I am looking to add on a fourth box. I just haven't made up my mind. There's a couple of them that I'm looking at, and um, I just I haven't made up my mind which one I think would be a better fit to try out. And if I can't make up my mind, I'll probably just wait until the first of the year and redo it. Um, I had thought about resubscribing to the Allura Beauty Box, but the price has gone up. And it's $21 a month now. It used to be $15. But... They're only offering, um, they're not all full-size products. It's a mix of full-size and deluxe sample size, and it's still going to be extremely skincare heavy. So, um, not really wanting to do that. I already get enough skincare with just keeping the Ipsy and the BoxyCharm. Um, and that's another thing. Uh, Ipsy just announced that they bought BoxyCharm. So, I don't know when they take over um, control. I would imagine it would be the first of the year because um, these subscription boxes, of course, you know, they plan everything out months and months in advance. So, I imagine they already have their um, November and December's already lined out and ready to go and that um, Ipsy wouldn't be able to change it that quick and alter contracts already in place with um, their suppliers so I imagine that will probably take place sometime the first of the year so if they become extremely similar I will probably drop one one thing I do have that I do not know and if you all wouldn't mind to leave a comment um, I would greatly appreciate it I want your opinion I went on Amazon and I bought two different advent calendars that are supposed to be um, makeup. They had really great reviews, so I, uh, I want your opinion on which one you would rather see me open. The other one I will save and actually open as the season of advent begins. So hang on, let me grab them. All right, we have... Q key here. It's 24 days. There we go. And then we have W7. And both of these are British based beauties. Um, they are both 24 days. Uh, they They were very similar in cost. Um, they were both around um, the $25 range, which is extremely cheap for an advent calendar. Um, but I don't know how the holidays are going to work, how the pandemic's going to handle stuff, you know, affect um, mine and my husband's incomes, my daughter's expenses. Um, we've also had some minor family drama not a big deal i just have to take a, a slightly more active role in my nephew um his education and well-being um his mom got really sick so any prayers you want to send towards my friend kim would be greatly appreciated um she is in the hospital and i'm not going to give details other than she's just very very sick so um Good thoughts, prayers are always appreciated. Um, he just needs a little help with his schoolwork and stuff and getting to and from school and all that kind of stuff. So it's it's all good. Um, but yeah, life's just a 
tiny bit busier and that's all that's a good thing because with COVID and being locked up I've been just sitting around and gaining weight like crazy yeah I've been on 25 pounds since the lockdown started back in March so I guess to wrap it all up um if you wouldn't mind let me know in a comment below which advent calendar you would prefer to see um, the contents of and that's what I'll do. Um, give me a like if you haven't. Subscribe maybe. Um, I know I get plenty of views but not many people are subscribed so it's it's odd. Um, so um, check out my Instagram if you haven't. There's a couple of Halloween things on there. And I will see you all in my next video, which I presume will probably be a book review. So I appreciate every one of you and hope you're having a great day. Stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.